So you want to know how to make your PHP script generate a beep? Many people say this is not possible because PHP was designed as a server-side script, say, to produce HTML outputs and stuff like that, used as a server-side scripting language. In that context, my workarounds are not going to work. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a tag that references in a sound, such as a BG, a BG sound tag or an image tag for your HTML page. If you're working on a on a program that's meant to be accessed by Telnet or SSH as well, a command line interface program that's been meant for that, my workarounds also won't work for that and I don't really have a solution for you for that situation. But when you're dealing with the uh, a locally run command line interface program, I have some workarounds that do work around PHP not including sound even in their PHP CLI type executables. So PHP doesn't really have the audio support, you know, but that's not going to stop us from making it beep, talk, sing, or make whatever other sound we want to make it dance through. Uh, we can have it play music, we can do whatever we want to. So things that just aren't going to work. Uh, PHP does not define a beep function. However, we could write our own, because it's not defined, we could write our own function, our own beep function that activates the workaround that I'm shortly going to tell you about. Uh, but other things that commonly work in other programs, many programs have the beep function. Many programs will support, if you're printing out, uh, or as PHP can do as an echo, a uh, backslash A or sometimes backslash B um, for the bell indicator, which is character 7. Uh, and even whenever I try to get creative and say, hey, uh, give me character 7 and send that to the output, it still did not recognize that as being any type of sound it wanted to make. It just won't. PHP just won't do sound. Um, when you're running sound on a server-side script like that, if it was going to beep, it'd be off in some data center somewhere. It wouldn't be where the client is interacting with your page. If it was going to be able to make a beeping sound on that system, it would just annoy some technician working in that room full of all the servers. Um, fortunately, most of those servers are specially built. Uh, data center type computers generally don't have sound hardware in them. And so, fortunately, even if PHP did support beeping and people did write beeps into their web scripts, you know, someone put one into a, uh, a WordPress script, it still just wouldn't play any sound. Um, so, yeah, these guys just don't work. What does? One thing that a lot of people don't know is when you're working with PHP, you actually, unless it's disabled in your PHP INI or PHP comp file or whatever your configuration is, provided it's not disabled, you have access to the entire system command line. There's three ways to access that. Um, one of them is the exec function, which I pass to it a, a string parameter, which is whatever command that I wish to execute. That's whatever I would have typed in at my bash shell or if I'm on Windows, over at PowerShell or command line, whatever they've got these days. And it will run that. And whatever that returns, as far as an error code is returned in the I variable here. Now there's also this way which is actually this is one way really. This is a shorthand way of putting this function. Inside these quotes or inside these backticks, this is backtick operator, 
this backtick operator is a shorthand for this shell underscore exec function. And inside here, we can put a, whatever command we would have typed as well, just like we would have over here on the exec. And then return to our s variable is the output of whatever that would have been, whatever we would have typed into that. So this is where we need to have some other program on that computer, either a script that you wrote in another language that does support sound, or one of these other packages that you can get. Windows usually already supports beep, uh, at least it used to anyway, back when I dealt with it. Uh, Linux, if it doesn't already have the beep package installed, you can download the beep package. It's a part of the free library. They got plenty of command line based media players and that's where we can get it to talk and sing and play music and make whatever sound effects we want to you know if we want to have our you know have an output of a line and then have a car crash or shootout sound or whatever we want to whatever sound effect we want to and then have another line on there that's fine to do we can absolutely uh, we can absolutely do that um, just by playing other media files from the command line using these command line players. So let's take a look and see how that works in action. Um, these guys were the ones that don't work. Um, even when you get creative, nope, sorry, it's disabled. So um, these are some examples of the exec. You know, this is to trigger the beep. And in this case, I did not return a variable because, really, do you need the, re the variable returned from beep? I don't think so. You know, you're going to hear it, and then you want to get back to your program. Down here, I've actually got some, uh, this is what's going to be run. These are all commented out. But what we should hear is we should hear a beep. And then I have two sound recordings, and I was going to tell you, uh, to remove any glass from the area where you're watching this video because I had one clip that was a sample of voice talking and one sample of singing and I didn't want to be responsible for breaking your expensive china with my singing voice. Now fortunately I have I'm not a big multimedia person and I don't have it's amazing that I'm even on YouTube but I have uh, my sound recorder records into four different sound formats and a play recognizes four different sound formats but there is not a matching so sound format between the two they don't anything which I record I'm not going to be able to play so what we're going to hear after the beep is we are going to hear some static fortunately fortunately OGG files will sound like static in the default mode for a play to try and play a if you have the default mode it just tries to figure out whatever the sound file is down here I try and declare it as the OGG format and you'll see it says it doesn't recognize it. Uh, a play is known to support these guys so if you're able to create a sound in any of those formats you can download a play and trigger those using a command similar to this just know that OGG does not work but you can play any of those sounds from your library um, using a command similar to that. So just replace your file name of course with wherever you're actually putting your sound that you're going to try and play. So we're going to hear a beep, we're going to see, we're going to hear some static, and then we are going to see an error message and it's going to exit. So if we had other sounds that were in those formats, uh, we absolutely could have made this thing do whatever sound we wanted to from our PHP script. So, 
be creative have fun thank you for watching